and said, um, yeah, I left all my new poems at home, so I've just got this little thing that I've made. These are poems I've read here before, I'm sure. This is, a, this is rather a learned piece. It's about animal psychology. <coughs> Wanderlust is not uncommon among hamsters since they first perfected travelling on wheels. Schadenfreude is a trait that some rabbits, one in eight, will admit to with vicious little squeals. <laughs> Claustrophobia is a problem for the ferret. For them, travelling in trousers makes them sick. Hysteria is found in many moles underground, so they have to dig their tunnels very quick. Glaukenstücke is what every gold goldfish feels when it knows it has been revelling too much in the sufferings of flatfish who are bullied by catfish or the battered cod the cats won't even touch. Aphasia can be fatal in a parrot. Dyspraxia affects one snake in three. Guinea pigs who can't relax get mild panic attacks but respond quite well to water therapy. <laughs> Animal Kingdom. Um, this one's called Goat Boots. I did actually see some goat boots in a farm museum. They were gorgeous, lovely little things, and it inspired this poem. Ants, sandals, wasps, socks, underpants for cockroaches. Don't you think that insects should be clothed and not go nude? Naked beetles long for berries. Lizards need their scarves. Toads like smart tuxedos, they don't do things by halves. Goat boots, hippos hats, cardigans for cattle, hats with corks for spiders to attract the flies, flies with rattles, gloves for gerbils, skirts for cats, ball dresses for tigers, moccasins for micro hogs and wellies for fish swimming in the river Niger. <laughs> don't you think it would be nice to help God's little creatures? by making see-through mats for mice and grass for antitos. <laughs> <laughs> this one was inspired by uh, visits to the Amalfi Coast and uh, it's from observation. It's called Jobs for the Boys. Caligula is driving the, the seat of us today. <coughs> he swings the wee wheel ferociously, small brown face muttering, the pallid barbarians, sire surging up without valid tickets, risk a surly thumbs down. But today Caligula is in a good mood. Coming back from Positano, I recognise Nero's heavy, handsome head, leaning from the bus window. Steel wool hair, steely gaze, humorous wrinkles are all that show times past since his portrait bus in the Na Na Naples Museum was toppled from the palace pedestal. Two emperors gainfully employed thanks to the CETA bus company. I'm sorry. about Donald. <laughs> <laughs> Travellers. <laughs> Travellers. She was smirk. This is inspired by Pippa Middleton. No, Kate Middleton. Because there was a... Um, Pippa. Uh, Pippa. Pippa, was it? Yes. There was a headline in the mail, I think it was, which I happened to find when I was doing paper mache. Um, <laughs> she was smirking in a convertible in Paris. That was the headline. It's called Travellers. She was smirking in a convertible in Paris. He was frowning in a streetcar in Saigon. She was beaming on a bendy bus in Blackpool. He was crying in a transit van in train. She was laughing on a steamboat boat bound for Dixie. He was tearful in an Amazon canoe. She was chuckling on a Chattanooga choo-choo. He was snarling in a boxcar in Peru. He was weeping on a liner bound for Sydney. She was sorry on a lorry by Loch Lomond. He was smiling on a bicycle in Iceland and she was glad to see him walking up her street. <laughs> 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 